Okay, little video tutorial to help you guys out with taking your pieces for your DNA model, right? I'm going to recommend that you put in a movie or something to listen in the background while you do a bunch of cuttings. Here's all my trimmings and here's my pieces that I've got here of my phosphorus or my phosphate and my deoxyribose sugars along with these pieces that I've already made my rungs here of thymine and my adenine. And I just put a little bit of glue at the top of this guy, laid the green piece over it, so you can see how they overlap just a little. Then I did the same over here with my pile, that is my guanine and my cytosine, okay? I put a little bit of glue at the top of this piece, put the pink piece over the top, get a little bit of an overlapping going. And what I tried to do also to make this function well is to get the pieces to be about the same length. You really need to take some time, line them up well, okay? Then you're gonna come over here and we're gonna start off with a deoxyribose sugar, flip one around on this side, same thing, deoxyribose sugar. And here I have my guanine with the cytosine. Now, if you look on your piece, you're going to see circles and then there's stars, and then there's a square. And there's a reason for that, and it helps you to line things up, okay? So here I take the star to star of the sugar to the phosphate, and here I have a circle to this circle, so then this guy lines up. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. And then the same thing on this side, because here's circle to circle, okay? Circle to circle, and then I'm going to put square to square, so then these guys line up. And then I'm going to take a deoxy sugar, and I'm going to put star to star, and then circle, circle to circle, so then these guys line up, okay? And I put my second rung of my different components. But I continue to follow the pattern here. It's square to square. And then I'm going to put another star to star, square to square. Line things up carefully first before you glue to make sure you've got your patterns correct. Okay. And here, see here, it's like, whoops, that's wrong because that's not star to star or square to square. Now it is. So now I'm okay to put this one here. I get my deoxy sugar. Remember, star to star. And then I would glue my pieces of circle to circle, okay? So then I start out and I see my pattern that I've got lined up. Now I'm good. I can pause the video. I can uh, assemble the pieces. And then we'll come back in just a moment. Okay. So once I got done gluing my pieces together, I needed to carefully kind of wiggle this around to loosen the pieces from my surface that I was doing my gluing on because they did start to adhere or stick to it. And then after I just kind of wiggled them carefully, now you can see I have my model. All right, now, mine is taking more than the pieces I gave you guys. So if you would like to make a very long DNA chain, come by the classroom and pick up some extra pieces and you are welcome to create as large, um, a large as a DNA model as you'd like to make. All right. So let's have some fun with this. And here is your DNA model.